Welcome to another Azure Guy video where hands-on learning is priority one. I'm an Azure administrator, an Azure security engineer, Azure Swiss architect, as well as certified Kubernetes application developer. Welcome to my CCAD example question 20, part two. We're gonna add a chart repository, find a chart to install, and install a Helm chart. You learn from the part one of a Helm repository is a set of files reachable over the network that conforms to a Helm spec regarding indexing. Helm version two came with the default repository, but in Helm version three, there is no default. All right, the first step in our task here is to add a repo more than likely, I know guarantees, of course, but more than likely this will be done for you already on your official exam. No guarantees, but I think it will be. All right, but anyway, we need to learn how to do it anyway, just in case. So, Helm repo add, we're gonna add the Bitnami. And address is there we go. And a bit number has been added to our repositories. There's also a uh, A GUI way to get this information. So if I type here and let's say I type in Nginx. And I want and this is Bitnami's uh, graphical repository. So I click on that, you will see I'm given the command we just ran. And uh, so that's one way to get it. GUI wise, but of course you won't be able to open up this site on the exam. That's one reason why I believe they're going to have a repo already installed for you. But uh, all right, let's minimize that. Now, despite this message here that's been added, maybe we're the pessimistic type. So let's just uh, learn the command to verify. So. Uh, Helm repo list and then that kind of verifies that we have it there. Now you can see uh, the, the command returned the most current version. But what if you want to see all the versions that are available for Drupal? Well there you do Helm search repo versions. Then you can see all the way down <laughs> to there. That's a lot, of, a lot of versions out there. But uh, again, by default, uh, you'll only get the, the first one if you do it like this, the most current version. Okay, we're now ready to tackle the final task of this question, and that is to install our charts. So let's use the helm here. And since we're installing something, let's type install and see what help tells us. Well, help says helm install name. Well, the name is the specific instance of the charts. Because you know, our cluster, we might want to have if we're doing a website, we, uh, we might have four different versions of the web software, but the same chart. So in this case, I'm going to say Helm install. And my specific installation of this chart, I'm going to call Dave site. And I'm installing 
the bit NAMI slash Drupal charts. That should do it. And there we go. Now, I'm just in an attempt to drive home this instance name here. What if I ran this again? Would it install another instance if Dave cites? Or will I get an error? I'll, I'll pause for a few seconds. I say we will get an error. Correct. You cannot reuse that name. So if I wanted to install this chart again, I would have to change this name. I can make it number two, and it would be there, for example. It would work fine. Now, what if I wanted to, and that worked, as you can see, what if I want to install Dave 2 in a different namespace? Hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, we are in the default namespace. So let's go ahead and create this in a different namespace. I will oh, clear. What am I thinking? QCTL create namespace. And I'll call it, uh, well, today is Christmas here. So I'm going to call it. Christmas. All right, then I'll give this command here, Dave two. Oh, I'm. I think it's namespace. I'm gonna have to look this up. C H R S T M A S. And there we go. So it's now in the namespace of Christmas. So yes, you can create the same name. In different namespaces. All right. Well, that ends part two. Uh, please join me for part three, where we'll upgrade our installation, delete the installation, and part three. Again, thanks for watching.